what is up guys it's Max Merck here and today I have an SL63 AMG look at this look at that Yeah, so we just finished up pictures and we're gonna get some nice runs after this. Blake, Miranda. All right, the three C63 is about to do a burnout. Oh, you're gonna race a uh, C63. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. oh shit, C63. You're fucked, dude. Why? There's a car right there. He's coming back. Yo! No, it's fine. Yeah, he's right there. No, they'll turn off. They better. Yeah, he's, he's turning around. He realized so. that you can't hit the return road. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta hit there. Alright guys, we're gonna go run it again one last time. Really quickly. Uh, let's see if I can go up against anyone. Trying to hop in again and hold this? Trying to hop in and hold this again for me? I wanna get you leaving. I wanna get you. Can anyone, does anyone wanna hop in and hold this for me? Who wants to hop in and hold that camera for him? I'm, I'm gonna walk over and see ride if I'm gonna Alright, alright, could you at least hold this outside? Blake, get in the car. I already did a pass with him. That's what I'm saying. So you, you can do this. No, I wanna get the outside. This is for his YouTube. That was really quiet. Will he let me make a pass because it's a rental? Of course he'll make you be like. Wait, he would let me like make a pass? I'm about to be a bunch of obvious. Wait, it's a rental? Yeah, it's a rental. Oh my god. What the fuck? Rinse out a fucking toilet. They have an app. Like, <laughs> Your brakes suck. I cannot stop for shit. I know, I thought you were gonna keep going, so I kept going. I was like, oh, you're gonna stop, dude. This lens is dirty as fuck. He's gonna watch it and be like, Go! Oh, you're back. Jazz is gonna drive it? Really I fucking knew bad it. Bad idea, but whatever. No, he's got it, dude. He, he won't do anything to that car, I promise. Alright, I'm letting Jesse drive the SL. You guys excited to see a SL63? Dude, are you gonna send it? I'm not gonna send it too hard, that'd be rude. <laughs> Let me scratch at it, hold on. Doesn't this thing have launch control? It does. Yeah, RS is race start. I couldn't get it to work, but we can try. Alright. So what is it? Sport Plus. Sport, yeah, AMG. Uh, let's see. It's supposed to, there, see? I don't know, it always does that. 
restart not possible. I don't know why. Don't We're know. trying to figure out launch control. We tried to figure out launch, launch control. Launch control is being yeah, bitch. What, uh, what do you mean? We we're trying to use the launch control, but it's not actually. It's, I keep saying it's not active. Really? Yeah. It's like unavailable. Yeah. Send it. <laughs> We are gonna. I think we're gonna head out, and then I'll. Uh, we'll talk more about the car when we get towards home. All right, guys. So, okay, I didn't really do much of an intro, but uh, today I have this Mercedes. It's a 2013 Mercedes SL 63 AMG. Uh, probably one of the nicest, most powerful, fastest cars I've ever driven um, or ever had for the YouTube channel for you guys. And um, we just took it to a drag strip right now. Where there were a bunch of cars. Um, I tried to get as much footage as I could. Um, I'm sorry if I didn't get that much, but um, I I ran against a uh, like a Tune C63 that I had, was probably making like 630 horsepower. Um, this car makes around 530. This is the non-performance package, and uh, 2013, as I said, beautiful car. Had a really great time at that drag strip, and uh, we're gonna start heading home now. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this car and uh, what I think of it after having it for about a day. Being a huge Mercedes guy. Um, yeah, and we'll talk about it. And it's a bit windy, so what I think, as much as I want to have the top down, for the sake of uh, audio quality, I think I'm going to put the top up. So the top is literally silent in this car. Uh, can't even hear it. Start up. Amazing growl. Uh, let's go sport mode. Stiff suspension. All right, let's go. Cool seats. It has heated cool seats. It has the air scarf back here. Um, so if it's cold, it'll heat your neck with this little vent back there. Uh, I want a massage. Let's see, driver's seat, fast and vigorous massage. Very nice. Man, this car is a monster. I'm telling you guys, it is incredible. Just so much power on top. It's a twin turbo V8. It's the Mercedes uh, twin turbo V8. It replaces the naturally aspirated 6.2. Yeah, it has Destronic. It's a, it's a pretty loaded car. So I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and get on it. The driving position in this car, I mean, you're so low to the ground, you have that big long hood in front of you. The handling is amazing. So I've gone ahead and um, it has air suspension. Uh, Mercedes Aromatic grips very nicely coming out of this corner. And the sound, man, the sound of this car is mental. It's just all these AMG exhaust notes, whether it's the naturally aspirated 6.2, the 5.5 V8, uh, the 5.5 by turbo, the 4, the 4 liter by turbo, they're all incredible. Mercedes built this car to do a lot of things at one time. It's built to be fast. This is the 63, the Mercedes SL63, this is the high performance version. But now you have the SL400, SL550, SL63, SL65. So this is um, pretty much in the higher range for the models. Um, most people are either going to get the 5.5 
550. Sorry, it's just every chance you get with this car, you gotta you gotta punch it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop everything into comfort mode right now. Now we're in comfort. And this car, beautiful. I mean, the gas is not as touchy. Steering is lighter. The suspension I put it uh, into comfort. And the suspension, even in comfort mode, it's still a tad stiff. Um, not gonna lie, but that's just the nature of an AMG. You don't you don't buy this car to be the most comfortable. If you want a if you want a cushy car, buy the 550 or the 400. It's a little softer. However, this car, as I was saying, is built to really fulfill all the needs. It's built to be comfortable, fast, in a straight line, great handling, somewhat spacious, which it's somewhat spacious, um, safe, stylish, just all those things. And now it's kind of hard to see where this car fits with Mercedes's lineup because when you, if you want a Mercedes convertible or a Mercedes sports car, you have, um, or let's say convertible, you want a Mercedes convertible, you have the C-Class Cabriolet, you have the SLC, the SL, which I'm in right now, the S-Class Coupe, the AMG GTC, or I'm sorry, the S-Class Convertible, and the AMG GTC. So you have a lot. If you want a tiny, nimble little sports car, the SLC AMG. If you want a four-seater, tiny, nimble sports car, the C63 Cabriolet. Um, and you also have the 43s, but we're, let's just stick the 63s for now. Um, and then if you want a big, big, powerful, high-performance four-seater convertible, you buy the S63 AMG convertible. And then it really just leaves you wondering, and then, oh, if you want the top of the line high-performance um, Grand Tour, the AMG GTC, that, is, that thing is a monster of a car. So that really leaves you wondering, where is the place for the AMG or the SL63? Because the GTC and the SL63 are pretty close within the price ranges of each other. If you're driving, if you're buying one of these cars, you can probably afford the other. So it kind of makes me wonder, at least with this new lineup, now, I'm not talking back in 2013 now, where does the SL63 stand? I mean, I know a lot of people don't think it's a very attractive car. Um, I don't think it's too bad. It's not, I, I personally prefer the old model, um, the R230, whether it's the facelift or the non-facelift. Turn right. I think that was a prettier car. Um, they just recently facelifted this car for 2017, and um, it's better, it's better, it's just, I don't think the front and back of this car really complement each other while the front is aggressive and uh, mean and the back is kind of kind of feminine if you ask me. However, don't get me wrong, I absolutely adore this car. Um, AMG is my, I mean, this channel is Max Merck. Um, AMG is just everything to me, you know? It's my goal um, one day uh, from the YouTube channel, my goal is to buy myself an AMG um, of some sort all on my own and be able to bring tons of great content to you guys. I got a nice curvy right here, so I'm gonna go gun it. Uh, Sport Plus, Cove, Stiff Mode, yeah, let's go. There is zero turbo lag in this car, and it is incredible. We're gonna be on the on-ramp going under the highway. There's a little Mazda in front of me. I'm gonna let that guy pass, and then I'm just gonna hit it. And it is so easy to get into trouble with this car. It's, it's crazy. There's just so much power on tap for you. You put your foot down, you're way over the speed limit. That's 65, just like that. And it has all the safety systems you could ever need. It has blind spot monitoring, active blind spot, or active lane keeping assist, blind spot monitoring, um, adaptive cruise control, radar cruise control, so look, watch. I'm gonna go ahead and pop cruise control in, set it to 65. It is now. I mean, it doesn't do the steering wheel. This is a 2013. The new one will do the steering wheel too. Um, but I am not doing any gas. I'm only steering, and then it is following the car in front of me. So that car speeds up. We speed up. Back to the whole theme of everything. This car is supposed to fulfill a lot of tasks. Does this car really do it? I think it does. Because the other models I was mentioning, the SLC, the AMG GTC, those cars are... The SLC is a smaller version of this. The AMG GTC is a high performance version of this. Like super high performance version, like the supercar version of this. And I think this car, this car has been around since the longest time, the 50s, the original 300 SL. This car has a very long line 
knows this car, you see this car, and it's just the highest symbol of luxury and performance and Mercedes-Benz. This is the flagship of Mercedes-Benz. Um, just like the S-Class. The S-Class and the SL have historically been known as the flagship of Mercedes. And this car really just fulfills that. Everything in this car, fit and finish, high quality. It comes to the question, is it worth the money? Now this car new is around $160,000, $170,000, give or take, depending on the options after you know all those tax, taxes and fees. $170,000, give or take. And this is probably one of the highest depreciating cars Mercedes makes. So with that being said, would, should you buy one new? No, I don't think you should buy one new because with this car, you're basically just throwing your money away. Because the depreciation is just going to drop so, so much. You can find used one of these. Use the SL63s on the market for amazing deals. And uh, it's they're pretty solid cars, you know. Um, the only things that can really, really go wrong are the aromatic suspension. And uh, Mercedes has gone a long way with that. I don't think buying a new one of these is really worth it at all. Used. Should you buy one used? I think if you're in the market for one of these... The way to go would be to get the previous generation of this, um, the 2009 through 2011 SL63 AMG, because you may have to give up a little bit in performance because you don't have the twin turbo. However, it's a much better deal because you're paying a lot less. You still get all the AMG driving modes. You still have um, the pretty much the same infotainment display. This one is just like the, the, the control knob. The older one, you have the buttons here. You have heated, cooled seats. You have massaging seats on that one. They're pretty much very similar cars. You have xenon headlights, LED tail lights, all that stuff. So if it were me, my money, and I was in the market for an SL AMG, I would go for the old one, the R230 facelift SL63. Um, that would be the way to go for me. However, this car, don't get me wrong, it's an amazing car. Just for what it's valued at, I think there are better cars. Um, I'm a Mercedes fanboy, don't get me wrong. It's just I think there are better cars for this price range. Also, I, okay, uh, for those who are still watching, I'm going to put in some drone footage of this car that I've got. Um, I think I'm going to take the drone back and return it, actually, because I don't think it's really, I don't think I really need it. Um, please go ahead in the comments, tell me. If you think a drone will really add a, a great effect, good effect in these videos because um, I got the drone used it several times I just don't think it's really gonna benefit my channel that much so for those reasons I think I'm gonna take it back but go ahead in the comments be sure to tell me what you guys um, want be sure to tell me what you guys want with the videos I really your feedback means a lot to me um, I know there's the video with the CLA that I hit 1.3 million views and that was the cool features of the car um, that was my most popular video of all time and um, with that said, do you guys want to see those kind of videos? Do you guys want to see like the previous video of me taking that Range Rover Sport budding? Um, we took it budding actually, yeah. Uh, if you guys like that kind of video, you know, be sure to really tell me. Your feedback means a lot to me. I mean, I love making YouTube videos and I'm, I mean, at this age, I really just want to grow things uh, while I can. Because I love cars as much as you guys do. And when I was younger, I... I'd watch these YouTube videos and I love them and I want to be in the position to provide great content. So with that said, this is the SL63 AMG. I'm going to head home and uh, I'm going to try and get some more cool stuff to do with this car. And if I do, I'm going to go ahead and throw that in the video for you guys. If not, I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. So uh, with that said, thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, if you guys like these kind of videos, be sure that subscribe button, like button really helps me out. Like I said, I'll add some more stuff. If anything comes up, if not, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.